Hi, Scorpio and Scorpio Rising friends. Sandra from ForYourG.com, and this is your 2021 career outlook with me. Welcome to it. I also have the Wisdom of the Avalon deck here to help us with Oracle messages. If you haven't subscribed and hit the notification bell, please do. That will automatically enter you in for a drawing that I draw once a month for a lucky YouTube subscriber to win a free email reading with me via the cards of truth, which is very different than what we're doing here. And it's very different than the 12 house spread that I do with the tarot because I use playing cards. Now, having said that, if you are interested in your love reading for 2021, or you're interested in your money outlook for 2021, I will have those Vimeo links contained below in the description box. I will also have a preview of each of those readings separately posted here on YouTube. And again, the link to purchase the free rate or the um, Vimeo reading rather will be contained in the Vimeo box in the uh, description box below. All right, let's get to it. First quarter 2021 foundations and achievements. This is the 10 of cups card in traditional tarot. This is happy life, happy family. You are feeling good about yourself and specifically in your career regarding your career the first quarter of 2021 you feel like this is a brand new year you feel like this year this year is yours and for mo many of you it's going to be true and i'm going to give you that timeline in just a minute because i see something very exciting happening this year and for some of us we've been waiting for this for a very long time now, how you feel about the beginning of 2021 is you feel like you're learning a valuable lesson. And that is definitely true here. Um, there is truth to this lesson. Make sure you're paying attention to the lessons that you've learned in the past and you're not repeating the same mistakes. That's what we're here to do is to learn and grow. The Oracle message rings true here with your Ten of Cups Oracle, uh, tarot card rather, love. So whatever you're doing, you are loving this. You are in your element, I'm hearing, in your career. And uh, keep this energy going. Now, we have a bit of a fishy message for the second quarter. Deception and envy as a Scorpio. This could be someone who is jealous of you and your career. I know this very this situation very well for others of you this could be someone trying to BS you right but what they don't realize is how keen a Scorpio is on to picking up on this energy we can spot this BS a mile away can't we Scorpio and nine times out of ten we will call them out and that might need to be where it happens for you. If this is someone indeed that's trying to BS you, if it's someone that's jealous of you, that's a different story. Of course, you can choose to call them out or not, but it's not going to change their behavior. Whereas if this someone, if this is someone who is trying to pull the wool over your eyes, when you call them out, they will simply drop their tune, their attitude rather, or they will go away because they are too embarrassed now and you have found them out. And the energy around this here with this message Merlin that talks about alchemy, justice, and balance. We truly are given the gift of spiritual blessings this lifetime to be able to call out this energy. This is definitely the magical energy, you know, the sixth sense, the psychic, but it's also you standing in your power, Scorpio, which is going to be required here in the second quarter and that's really not a problem for you anyway but it is a very comforting message regardless now as we get into the summer months and i always say this the astrology in the summer months are not conducive to scorpio movement really in any regard there's something about the sun and those planets that drains us. I don't, for me personally, I don't feel like I have a lot of energy in the summertime. I feel, and especially when the sun is in cancer, 
um, because of all of the messages that I received during dream time. I have more psychic messages that come up when the sun is in cancer than any other time. And that takes an exorbitant amount of energy for some reason. I guess it's because of all of the energy that's required to receive those messages. But I feel like you're withdrawn in the summertime. You're taking a step back. You're examining yourself. You're examining your life. You're examining your surroundings. And you are preparing yourself to take the next move. And this message is compounded by the bard here, which talks about, you know, poetry and myth and storytelling which tells me that your mind is somewhere else right it's not in the here and now you may want to do grounding exercises every other day in the summertime again I'm Scorpio myself and I find myself very ungrounded in the summer months for some reason so it's time to yeah you can be withdrawn and there's you know we all have our uh, important times for that and there's nothing wrong with being withdrawn but you don't want to be so far withdrawn that you can't function in this de very demanding reality let's face it we have to stay on our toes at all times right so rather than be in fantasy land we really need to come back down to earth more even though it appears that we're taking a step back and taking a break and reassessing things we do need that time just make sure you're not so far out of reality that you can't react when that time comes okay and i know you guys get that all right where are we fourth quarter fourth quarter now remember the start of the fourth quarter the beginning of october october marks what is it the sun moving into Scorpio at the end of the month. That's where we feel we come alive every single fall. I feel like I have the zest and the spark and the creativity and the guidance and the intuition and every all the stars are lining up for you to start something brand new related to career. And we have a card that echoes this message because we have movement from the wisdom of the Avalon Oracle. There is definitely something that you're starting up here, something that you are starting to do. Brand new, exciting adventure. I love it. You know, make sure you have all your ducks in a row. Make sure you have all the assistance. You have laid the foundation for starting this because it can be, especially if this is talking about a new business that you are starting. Make sure the, I always say this, the numerology of the name of your company jives with your life path number. They have to match. If they don't match, it's the difference between success and failure, really. And I know this because I lived it myself when I was very young. So with all of those things in mind, I'm very excited for you and your career, Scorpio. It is headed in a brand new different direction. I love new things. I love trying new things. I love learning new things. I love starting new things. And I love starting new businesses. So congratulations to you, Scorpio. Again, if you're looking for your love outlook for 2021, which will no doubt be very interesting indeed, and your money reading, I will have those links contained below in the description box. Many blessings to you.